welcome to the channel today we're gonna do a different type of video we're gonna be a little pan-africanist today um, we're gonna interview uh more like a collab interview with a sister from um uganda so stay tuned <music> Welcome back to the channel here. As I said, um, I have an African sister from Uganda. Um, many people leave their country for a better life, you know, but sometimes you, you meet with some horrible things while you're away trying to make ends meet and trying to really make a better life for yourself. Um, this Ugandan sister, you know, she's in Saudi Arabia. I'm gonna just, she also is a YouTuber, so I'm gonna make sure you introduce herself right now. Um, I want to welcome her to the channel. Her name is um, Dora. Um, Dora, I'm going to let you introduce yourself to the channel here. You can go ahead. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to this channel. My name is Dora and I'm a Ugandan housemaid working in Saudi Arabia right now. And I'm so excited to be on this channel. Let's do the interview right now. Okay. Um, so what make you decide to leave Uganda to work in Saudi Arabia? My plan was to work for one contract that is two years. So after that, I'm going home. I don't want to get comfortable here. The world has a lot to offer. So if this is the first step, let me go for the next step and see what will happen. So it is only two years that I'm planning to be over here. Okay. Um, so... When you arrived in Saudi Arabia, did you have any cultural shock? Did anything um, surprise you when you get there? There's a lot of cultural shock, the dressing code. I had never seen it at all. The long black thing they wear and then cover their hair, cover their faces and everything. And the food, I didn't know people would eat rice every single day. That is not so East African where I come from. So. That shock was too, too much. And the Arabic language okay. was very, very mm. hard. It all just shook me. But, you know, I'm picking one. I'm getting along with everything. Okay. Um. So, what would you say about the best thing working there? The best thing about working here for me is the money. It is some good amount of money, which I would not be earning if I stayed in my home country where there's an employment and I had not finished education. So I'm grateful that for the money I earn over here. It is about 200, 240 US dollars. So that is about 1 million shilling in my Ugandan currency. And um, let me ask this. And what the worst things? Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. Um. The worst is that, you know, you just have to wait for your contract to end and go home. There's not a lot of freedom over here because we are females and we are a domestic worker. You know, I think so far homesickness is the major thing for me. Like there is nothing that is even similar to what is at home. So let me ask you this. Um, what your, your your duty consistent of? I mean, your day-to-day -day, um, working duty, what's considered enough? Okay, you are, since I stay with my bosses, so I'm always at work. Let me say, whenever you are awake, you're at work. So that is what I can do. Like, in a domestic worker, you're always hopping around and everywhere. But I would say my working hours are from 8 a.m. in the morning. And about, I would say by midnight, I can go and sleep. But I always go to bed at around 10 p.m. Um, so when you're not working, what do you, I mean, what do you like to do when you're not working? When I'm free, since I can't move around, since I can't, you know, leave the house and go anywhere, I always spend a lot of time on the internet. I think this is what most people do, especially if you're living outside your home country. So this is where I even started my YouTube channel, just sharing my experience with people, interact, kill the boredom, and move on. Um, 
Let me ask you this. Um, would you recommend this type of work for any other African, uh, 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 for instance, any person out there like wanting to do this type of work? Would you recommend uh, a type of job like like what you're doing now? Um, personally, I wouldn't recommend anyone. It is a lot of work, and it is really a very, a very big sacrifice that we make for our future, for our parents, for our countries. I wouldn't recommend anyone. If you have any other way you can survive, please stay in your home country and survive. I think that is what I can say about it. Okay. Um, I mean, any regrets or uh, anything like that? Um, if, you, if, you, if you have to do it all over again, would you do it? Wait, no, 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 no. Um, like I say, do not get comfortable where you are. So I'm looking for greater places. I'm looking for greater things. So no way. Um. Okay. All right. Um. Um. Your channel is um, dear Dora. Anyway, Dora, I want to thank you for um this uh, interview and thank for talking to me. And I'll be. And I want to tell people that you can subscribe to your channel. I'll be putting your, your channel information in the description so they can go, go to the description and they can find you and subscribe to your channel. Um, so once again, thank you for the interview. And um, that's it, folks. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and also go to her page and support her sister. Um, till next time, peace. See you.